Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over the Focusrite Solo 3rd Gen from setup and installing and using with OBS. A few tips and tricks at the end if you only get sound on one side, stay tuned. And before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. I got my focus right back in May 2020 and since then I've been using it every day as my main input device from recording to streaming and even simple voice calls. I like it a fair bit and I find it fairly easy to use. In the box you'll get a USB-C to USB type A cord to connect it to your computer. So if you don't if so if your PC doesn't have a C port, that's perfectly fine. It plugs into any USB 2.0 type A. For a single PC setup, it's very straightforward. Just plug it in and I'll go over the driver installation. After it's plugged in and you get prompt, next thing for this, we'll need to head over to the Focusrite website and log in or register your new hardware. If you wanna take advantage of the included software, you will need to do this to get access to it. So keep that in mind. If you wanna take advantage of the software that comes included with your Focusrite, which is usually a DAW or some sound editing software, you'll have to register. I'm going to skip this here part as I only need the drivers to set this up with OBS and it should install the drivers it needs first thing you plug it in. So we're just going to go to the support, click on downloads in your brand. It's going to say focus, right? And in here we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and find the Scarlet Solo third gen or whatever model that you have. From here, we're just going to have the all downloads here and it's going to give us some options. From here, you'll be able to pick whether you want Mac or Windows. Pick the one that's right for you. I'm going to go with the Windows installation. This is where you'll be able to get the manual as well. If you need the user's guide, you'll be able to scroll down a little bit and have the option to download that as well. Any other included software will be here as well as long as you have the all selected. Okay, once the installer is downloaded, just click on it like any other installation and go through the process. Okay, at the very end here, to complete the installation, focus right control, uh, setup must restart your computer. Would you like to restart it now? Um, at this here point, you should definitely restart your computer. After the restart, we'll go over the settings and setting it up with OBS. Stay tuned, I'll be back with you in a moment. After it's installed and restarted, it will leave you with a desktop icon here, as well as it will show you in your notifications that your Focusrite Scarlet 3rd Gen is at sample rate 4800, buffer size 192, and it's clock sync USB internal clocks. Uh, this should show up first thing you restart and it should have installed the Thunderbolt drivers and a few other things as well. Um, you can click on this here and go through some of the settings if you want. It doesn't have very much in here as it only has your air and line level and instrument level for the solo. It doesn't have very many options. This is meant for the other ones. I don't use this here very much and it's mostly just to get the drivers for the OBS. So once things in here are set the way you like them, you can change your sample rate in here. I would just leave these here things stock as you can change them other, where, other places in your system. You can also right click the icon down here and go to the settings and mixing route. Here you'll be able to change your settings as well. So you can keep that in mind. Those are just two ways to set it up. Now let's launch OBS. If the focus right is set to your default device, your mic should be working and the sound should be working right away. But if it doesn't, this is how you add it. Once OBS is open, go to the settings and locate the audio tab. Here in the audio tab in the global audio devices, we'll just go down here to where it says mic auxiliary audio. And in here, we'll just want to select the analog one plus two Focusrite USB audio. Above that, here is your desktop audio. I like to leave this to default so that it's my speakers, not my Focusrite. So if you want to, if if you want to set this here and you're playing your sounds through your Focusrite, you can click this here on your Focusrite. So that's how you would change your desktop audio to play through your Focusrite. I play mine through my speaker, so I'm going to leave it to default. And the same as if your Windows, when you plug it in, it may set your Focusrite to default. 
To change that, you will just have to go down here and click your sound settings. Oh, my bad. You'll just have to click on it with your left click. And in here, you'll be able to select your playback device. So you can click your speakers in here to change it back. So just keep that in mind. If it changes and you don't want it to play through your focus right, you'll be able to just click here on your sound. Click this drop down menu and select your speakers again. And make sure that you go into your OBS and select it here through the drop down menu so that it will stay this here. If So this will allow it to be set here as well. I'm going to leave it at default so that it picks up my audio the way I like it and click apply. And if you only plan to use this as a mic input, you're done. You can close it down after you save this here and do a small test by talking into the mic. So you can click apply, click OK, and test your volume here. We can see that my mic is doing absolutely fine. So I see that it's being picked up and my desktop audio is not being picked up because I don't have anything playing. And it uh, might be another good test uh, just to give it a quick record and listen back to see what it sounds like. Okay, now if your audio comes up and looks like this here and you see it split halfway and only either in the left or the right, there's two ways you can fix this. First is in OBS, you can click on the cog beside the mic, go to advanced audio properties and beside the mic you can click mono. This will make it both your left and your right, but it will be at a cost of some of your gain. So after you switch it to mono, you can click it and add a filter. So after you're done that, you can click here and add a filter. And you can add a gain filter here by clicking on the plus and adding a gain filter. And I would suggest adding a 3 dB to your gain. Uh, as is splitting it into mono will subtract 3 dB and you'll hit the, you'll redline your mic. You'll peak your mic at negative 3 dBs less than normal. So you'll definitely want to add a little bit of gain to it if you do it in OBS. The second way to fix this is in Windows. Go over to the sound right click it, open up the sound settings, go to sound control panel, recording, right click, go to properties, over in advanced and you can change it to one channel and click apply. You would be able to hear me in both. Another thing is here, I usually use 16 bit one channel uh, because OBS can only record 16-bit sound anyway so it actually makes no difference if you're just streaming so that's something else to keep in mind I like to have it all set the same so that I don't get any issues OBS is 16 bits so I set this usually to 16 bits but please do your own research here and find what's best for you if you're not sure use the 24-bit default settings for the best result and that's what I'm gonna do in this example and after that, just give it a few tests and make sure it's set right for you. And that's it. If you would like to learn more about adding filters, you can check out my video on OBS mic settings to improve your stream, where I go over them in just a little more detail. But that's it. That's everything. That should get you up and running. And I suggest taking a deeper dive into it if you like messing with your audio. A few great people to watch our podcast each and Julian Cruz, uh, Krauss. I'll leave links to them below. They're really great. They have high quality and very detailed videos. So if you're looking to learn a more technical side of the audio things and not just the setup and basics, they're my go-to and definitely worth a watch. So I definitely consider checking them out. They're very great people. Uh, they'll, their community is awesome. It's easy to get help in the chat. So if you have any problems, any help, or want to just get a little deeper dive into things, definitely go and check them out. But that's all there is to it. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the description below. And if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.